The human and vehicle detection of the new Amcrest cameras are pretty good. And as you can see here, I have my uh, GIF preview set up. And as you can see, it saw the vehicle right here, the FedEx truck passing by our street. The only problem I have is the app itself. It is outdated, needs to be updated, and is not user friendly at all. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we will check out the Amcrest AI 4K PoE cameras. And we have the bullet type here. And this is the IP8M2696EW-AI. Yeah. And I'll, I'll just link the model number down below. And we also have the turret type. And I will also link the model number below. Amcrest sells a lot of cameras and their naming system is just too long and confusing. I actually suggested to them, like on their listing and description, they really need to differentiate this from their other cameras. And just putting AI is not enough. They should put person and vehicle detection in there. Anyways, when they reached out to me to check these cameras out, I told them to send me an NVR too, because I usually want to test the cameras in their own NVRs. Unfortunately, and I'm not sure why Amcrest sells these, but they sent me a 4K NVR with 16 channels, which is cool. But hard drive is not included, which I'm fine with because a lot of other brands do these too. But what got me is this NVR also doesn't have PoE. So there are no Ethernet ports on the back to plug in your cameras. You need to purchase your own PoE switch or plug in a 12 volts power adapter to your cameras. Anyways, don't get me wrong though because they do sell them also in a bundle, 4 cameras and an 8 channel NVR. But look at the title, you see there is no AI or person detection anywhere, which would separate this bundle from their other listing, which the cameras look exactly the same, but there is a big difference in the price. This is one thing that Amcrest needs to work on, not to confuse their customers. And there's another one that they need to work on, which I'll tell you later on the video. Also, thank you Amcrest for sending me these cameras and also the NVR that I'll not be able to use as is. And I'll not be able to test out in this video, so I'll just review the cameras. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. I appreciate it and thank you. I'll just be setting up the cameras using the Amcrest View Pro app. And also both cameras have the same sensor, field of view, and features. So I'll just be setting up and testing one of them. But I'll show you how both of them can be installed. Let's check out the features. This is a 4K camera capable of 30 frames per second. But if AI is enabled, it will only record in 20 FPS. It has starlight technology, but in their website, there's no mention of starlight. It just says it is best in low light capability using the latest CMOS image sensor. It does have a 108 degree field of view, which I like that is wider than most NVR IP cameras out there. And it has wide dynamic range. It uses H.265 compression, which saves storage space, built-in mic, one-way audio only, weather resistant with an IP rating of IP67. As for storage options, Amcrest has the cloud storage and they do market this a lot. Remember though that this will not upload to the cloud the full 4K resolution. Just 3 megapixel quality, so just a tad better than 1080p. And you have to pay a monthly fee. But more than likely, you will not pick this option. It does have a microSD card slot and is compatible to up to a 256GB card. Or you can record to an FTP server, computer, or to an Amcrest NVR. I'll go with the microSD card option in this video. Time to open up the box. We have a mounting template, warranty info, Amcrest cloud paperwork, and a quick start guide. Waterproof lid, and we have the camera itself. Camera lens, infrared somewhere here, light sensor, and a mic. On the bottom, we have a screwed-in cover for the microSD card slot and the reset switch. It comes with a little hood or shade. Build quality is metal. It comes already in a ball joint mount. As to connections for this model, we have a lot. We have audio in and out. We have alarm wires if needed. We have power supply port, 12 volts if not connecting via PoE. Then an ethernet port, and this is the only one that I'll use. As to the turret type camera, also all metal construction, all aluminum. We have the lens and infrared, light sensor and mic in the front. 
And on the bottom is the cover for the microSD card and the reset switch. You can loosen the torque screw to adjust the position of the camera and also to install it. As to the wiring, it only has 12 volt power port and an ethernet port. Time to set this up. First, I'll put in a microSD card just because I'm not hooking this up to an NVR. Just unscrew the two screws to open up the cover and slide in your microSD card and close it back up. Download the Amcrest View Pro app. Plug in the camera to a PoE injector or PoE switch that is connected to your router. Open up the app. Click on the upper right corner and click Add Device. And mine is already plugged into my network so I'll choose Search Device. Then the camera should be found. Click Connect Type and I'll choose Peer to Peer. Type in the default password which is Admin and let's name the camera which I'll name mine Amcrest AI. And click Start Live View which we need a new password and click OK. Now it is set up. Time to install this outside. Let's install the bullet type first. Stick in the template and pre-drill. And screw it in either in a ceiling or in a wall like this install using the three included screws. To adjust the position, you just need to loosen and tighten one screw and it is installed. As to the turret type, unscrew the torque screw using the provided torx wrench. Remove the camera and the housing and you will have the base plate that you need to screw in. Screw it in with the included four screws. Put the camera and the housing back in and screw in the torque screw and before tightening it, make sure the camera is positioned in the direction you want it to point. I like the turret type design wise when compared to the bullet one. It is low profile and hard for someone to grab on to pull it down. Both of them can be installed in a wall or in a ceiling. Now let's talk about the Amcrest View Pro app which is where my complaints are. And I remembered I reviewed their older 4K cameras about a couple years ago. And I don't think this app has been updated. It really needs an overhaul. When you click on it, it will show the camera and loads up the live view which is pretty quick. If you have other cameras, you can change the number of windows here. Now this camera doesn't have two-way talk, but there is a mic icon here which does turn on. But the camera has no speakers, so it doesn't work. Like it also has the PTZ control show up, but this camera is not a pan and tilt. So there are settings here that doesn't apply to the camera and it shouldn't be here. If you click the three dashed lines on the upper left corner, you will get to the menu. There is the playback to view the recorded footage. And there is push notifications. Event list is where you can find the notification history and you can view the footage from here. In configuration, you can select which camera you want to get into the motion settings. You can toggle it on or off. Then there is push type, live view if you want to load the live view when you respond to the notification. And video is if you want it to go to the recorded footage. Or image if you want a snapshot. In my testing later on, it is in video. Let's say you want to turn off uh, push notifications like if you are in your backyard and you don't want to be notified. So click on push notifications here and you have to go through these steps and see it's enabled when you click on it. I have, you remember, I have a human and vehicle detection turned on. So let's turn it off. And you know what? Let's turn it back on. So when you turn it back on, it goes back to the default. So every time you turn on and off, you have to go through all of these steps just to cancel audio. I don't need the audio. And you have to go back like so. This is one clunky app and it needs to be overhauled. And we have configuration center which where you can set motion detection. And these are the settings you can change. This is also where you can set the sensitivity from 0 to 100. Region settings is the motion zones. Overall the app is clunky and really not user friendly. Anyway, it's time to do some testing. So this is the video quality of Amcrest 4K AI camera and the video clarity test. This is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
Because this is a low light camera, it has the same situation that happened to the Lorex Fusion cameras that I reviewed a while back. My neighbor's floodlights are not triggering the light sensor of the camera to turn to night vision. You will see the glare from the lights and you will also see the ghosting because of the aperture and shutter speed compensation for the low light. Giving it some light from a floodlight on the other side of my patio, you will see a difference on the quality. And if you have motion activated lights all over your backyard, this is what it looks like. So this is the video quality of the Amcrest AI POE IP camera. And uh, this is what it looks like. This with all my backyard lights on. And this is what it looks like at 10 feet. 15. 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I want to test the night vision and uh, the only way to do it is to cover this. Let's see if I cover it and it will should activate its night vision there you go oh yes yeah, only has one infrared light now it's in should be recording in black and white night vision all right so this is what it looks like uh, 10 feet with uh, night vision in black and white mode 15 20 We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Amcrest 4K AI camera. And I'm on my LTE connection and it is... 1149 so let's check it out Ooh, that quick and when you press and hold there's no rich notification and when you click on it it should go nope it goes to the recording and you have to click in here to go to live view alright so it's 1150 so let's just double check on the cool off on the notification there you go, that quick. Now we are going to test the maximum detection distance of the Amcrest 4K AI. And I did, uh, this is only a person detection and uh, the sensitivity is to the highest. So let's check it out. Let's go to my fence line right here at 50 feet. Didn't detect me at 50 feet again. All right, let's go 45. There you go. So at least around 45 feet, you'll get detected. And it says, smart motion human. All right, cool. So the vehicle detection of the Amcris is actually pretty good. And uh, I've installed this in the front yard just to test it out. So when you click on to the notification, I got the, uh, the GIF or the uh, snapshot and you will see that it detected all the cars that passing by. Overall, the cameras have pretty good video quality and the audio quality is just a bit low in volume. I like the field of view though, which is 108 degrees horizontal and that is wide for an IP PoE camera. They're usually in the 90s. Performance of the camera is pretty good, very fast in AI notification and during testing, I haven't had any false notifications. My main and biggest complaint would be the app. It is not user-friendly, confusing layout, and badly needs an update. Features that the camera doesn't have doesn't need to be in its interface. I wish the camera has two-way audio, a siren, and spotlights. Plus, adding rich notifications would be great too. And this would justify its price. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.